Hey, it's the nerdy sports fan. The NFL schedule is out. Barely any actual NFL news is happening, except for a few straggler free agents. I made a video about the available ones a few days back. Uh, since then, I believe Logan Ryan's been picked up, but you can check that out and see what I had to say about these veterans still on the market. But now we're breaking down the schedule and getting into the NFC East. Now, there are some points of interest here. You have the Eagles, who recently won a Super Bowl, but have lots of injury issues and issues with just age on their roster and a lot of injuries. Um, Cowboys had a very, very good offseason so far. But man, they got to pay Dak Prescott or, you know, go forward with Andy Dalton next year. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, but very good offseason overall. Uh, once they figure out the Dak situation, that'll just put a bow on it. Um, DC is god-awful. Um, they had a top draft pick, Chase Young. That guy's going to be dynamic. And he'll have a fantastic career once he leaves Washington. Um, but let's get into these Giants, huh? Now, we've got two drafts in a row where I think they were actually pretty effective. Um Dave Gettleman can evaluate talent quite well. Typically, the way a front office is supposed to work is the GM puts people in tiers. The coach kind of puts his input in so that it prioritizes the people within a certain tier for the GM to make the selections. And I think that's working much, much better uh, in giant country than it did in Carolina uh, the last few years for Gettleman. I, I think Gettleman and Judge work particularly well together because this draft was phenomenal. It, it addressed their primary needs um, and gave them some toys on both sides of the ball to make significant strides. So I really like what they did in the draft. But the team's quite young, so it, it's not all going to be roses this season, but it's going to be a lot more fun to watch for sure. Uh, so week one, uh, um, in case you haven't checked out my other videos, um, I wanted to start off saying that I will put some games in a definite win category, some games in a definite loss category, some games in a toss-up sort of category, because I am a realist. And I believe that most of the teams in the league are actually quite close together. There's only a few situations that should make it a guaranteed win or a guaranteed loss at this point in the year. So the toss-up games will divide relatively evenly depending on the strength of schedule at the end to get our record prediction. Uh, so that said, the Steelers' opening week is going to be a toss-up situation. Mostly because we don't know what Big Ben's going to be this year. All right, he's coming off of injury, and he says he's going to be better. His coaching staff says he's going to be better. Bullshit. All right, when's the last time a quarterback this old came back from injury better than he was when he got hurt? I'll wait. Oh, well, never? Got it. Okay. You can make a one-season argument only for Brett Favre. His second-to-last year in Minnesota was an improvement over his time with the Jets. Only because he was hurt the entire season with the Jets. Entire season. Anyways, um, moving on um, from that toss-up Steelers game, uh, we're at the Bears. This is another toss-up, mostly because... Even though the Bears roster is, at this point, from top to bottom, you know, supposedly better because of what the defense is over there. Defensive coaching change after Fangio left town left that defense much weaker than it seemed, you know, the year prior. And what's going on with the Trubisky and Foles situation? It's a road game, though. Were this a home game, I would call it a win. I would call it a win outright. But there's a lot of question marks with the Bears. Um, the simple fact that it's a road game and the Giants are still young puts it in the toss-up category to me. 
Uh, week three, 49ers. That's a loss. <laughs> Ooh, man. Um, let's not overanalyze. Uh, okay. This Giants team just is not in that league yet. All right. Um, at the Rams. Toss up. Now, I understand it's a road game. I get it. That's, again, what gives the Rams their biggest advantage. They're a top-heavy team in L.A., okay? They've got, like, five big-name guys that they've given their entire future away for, and um, nobody really else. Why don't you ask Aaron Donald who he's had that's really been helpful on the defensive front during his career? Yeah, nobody. Just just nobody. Um Jalen Ramsey, he's a great player. Was he worth uh, what you paid to get him? I don't think so. Um, they, they just... The Rams are what people thought the Cowboys were. They, they have a good number of big names on the team. And everybody else can't hold the rest of the league's jock. Okay. There's no depth on that team whatsoever. So because the Giants are going for an overall talent aspect, I think this is a relatively even matchup against a more veteran squad uh, on the road. So, again, toss-up. So uh, at Dallas, that's a loss. Um, I just don't think Daniel Jones is ready for road games in Jerry World. Um, It's a big stage for a young man. So, Washington, especially at home, (laughs) that's a W, okay? Uh, D.C. is in a quagmire that they will not soon recover from, okay? That that is a god-awful team, and I don't think they're going to be good until Dan Snyder sells them um, because, man, he just cannot run an organization. Um, Afterwards, uh, we're at the Eagles. That's a loss, Uh, okay? Philly... Um, early in the season, won't have the injury bug biting the hell out of them. Um, but, you know, it's Carson Wentz and a way too old receiving group outside of their new rookie. So, wait. But yeah, at least early in the season, that's a loss. Especially on the road. Um, then we have uh, Buccaneers in a home game for the Giants. Um, that's a toss-up. Look, I, I get it, it's Tom Brady. And the offense there looks spectacular. This defensive secondary for these Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man, they couldn't stop anybody. Anybody. So any semblance of a passing game. And you can keep pace with them. And you're at home. So this team, loving home cooking, it makes it competitive with even Tom Brady's Buccaneers. So, uh, then, on the road to Washington. Yep, that's a win. This is another home game. Uh, So, Washington's fans have started to become Ravens fans. Put that into perspective real quick. With how close and how easy it is to get down to D.C., everybody in New Jersey is going to be making the drive. Um, Yeah, this is going to be a home game. So, no worries. Um, Eagles. You're going to be at home now. That's a toss-up. Okay, once you have home field, the playing field's a little more level. Not to mention it's later in the season now. So by now, Carson Wentz is likely going to be injured. Uh, Deshaun Jackson's going to be retired. And um, it's going to be a weaker team. So uh, is it a good club with good coaching that has plenty of people that have Super Bowl experience, winning Super Bowl experience still on that roster? Absolutely. So... There's a lot of ifs with the Eagles late in the season. And a lot of those things can add up to a good situation for the Giants. But the Giants, again, are a very young team. So that doesn't necessarily put it into a guaranteed win category for me. So uh, moving on from there, there's the bye week in week 11. It's always good to have a later bye week. Uh, This isn't the latest you can get, but hey, it's pretty damn good. So um, getting some rest For these players, even though they're young, is always going to be helpful. Uh, Afterwards, week 12 at the Bengals. That's a win. Uh, So is Joe Burrow going to improve Cincinnati? Absolutely. Did they do anything else that I think improved this team? 
DJ Reader. That's it. That that's it. So uh, their defense still can't do shit. All right, Saquon is going to have a field day against the Bengals. Um, at Seattle, that's a loss. All right, um, you're on the road. You're going up against a, a team that didn't necessarily improve this offseason, but they were a top four team last season. They still have Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson, to my recollection. So, yeah, that's going to be a loss. Um, Cardinals, getting them at home, that's a win. Kyler Murray is quite young, much like Daniel Jones. So road games are going to be much more difficult for the Cardinals. They significantly improved their offense. Uh, they made strides to try to improve the defense. I don't think they've done enough to improve their defense. So I think this is going to be a bit of a shootout. And in shootout situations, I, I typically go with the home team, um, unless there's some ridiculous quarterback factor and in this game there isn't so uh, after that week 15 getting cleveland at home i think that's a win mostly because i have zero faith that baker mayfield can write the ship leadership wise in cleveland i think what they needed there in cleveland was a veteran head coach so they really really needed to sign mike mccarthy they got themselves a very young head coach Mostly because the ownership there wants to meddle way too much for a veteran head coach's liking. All of those factors make it so Cleveland will not be one. All right. So at the Ravens, that's a loss. Uh, again, let's let's not fool ourselves. Okay, this is Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens, arguably uh, going to be the best team in the league this coming year. You're just not there yet. And wrapping up with the Cowboys at home, I think this is a win. Mostly because I think the Cowboys have got the division wrapped up by now and they're resting. But take the win. Now, the games that I think are a lock, you're 6-4. and four. The games that I think are a toss-up, add it in, split down the middle, that gives you a record of 9-7. and seven. Okay? That's my prediction. Obviously, I only think 10 of these games are guaranteed one way or the other. So depending on how well or how poorly you do in the other six, that's your season. There's potential to be a double-digit win team this year. It all depends on Daniel Jones' development. So do me a favor, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Hit up the other videos to see the trash that I'm talking about, the teams that you don't like. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching, guys. See you next one.